Welcome back to Holistic Developer. I'm Anna and I'm super excited to have you here today with me in this video where I'll be talking about elements of programming interview. And you might be wondering, oh my God, there are so many already topics, resources, and so many videos about this. And you might be like wondering what is different about this video I believe there is one thing that a lot of people are overseeing and not paying a lot of attention to one major thing, one important thing that I'll be addressing in this video. So what can you expect from this video is the following. I'll be addressing three major things about a coding interview. And the first thing is what is the purpose of a coding interview? Second is the structure of a coding interview. And third is some recommendations that I would like to give you that will help you assist in preparation for a coding interview that will help you get the job that you're dreaming of. Are you dreaming to be a software developer in a FANG company, one of the Facebook, Amazons, Apples, or Google, whatever, or you just want to be a software developer at any other company? It doesn't have to be this big, giant corporation it might be at any job because it's valid no matter where you work you are a software developer regardless of the title of the company if that makes sense i have a question for you what is your current coding interview prep process please take a moment to comment them leave them in the comment below the reason i'm asking you that is twofold one it's basically the premise of this video because I believe a lot of people are spending a lot of time to prep for a coding interview, but they have this major misconcept of what they need to prep for. And I'll be addressing that in a moment. The second part is that I want to generally learn from you and see what are you doing because I'm also currently interviewing. You probably guessed that from seeing my interview videos at Google. And this upcoming month, I have a couple more interviews and I'm interviewing with Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, and other companies that that's beside the point. So I'm truly looking forward to learn from you as well. So please leave them in the comment below. Let's get started with what I promised that I'll be addressing in this video. And that is answering the question, what is the purpose of a coding interview? And that practically is an interviewer is trying to answer two questions about you. Do you have the what and the how to do the job? Like the interviewer trying to see, do you have the skills needed to do the job efficiently? And that is basically your soft skills. That is what is the purpose of a coding interview to try to see, do you have the hard skills and the soft skills to solve the problem that you will be facing at your job as a software developer. So are you a person that has this hybrid set of skills that can solve anything that it might come your way? Now we are getting the, to the interesting part of this video. So pay attention. In this section, I'm going to talk to you about the structure of a coding interview. It might seem simple, but a lot of people are overlooking this part and they are failing at the coding interviews because they don't give enough importance to this part. So any coding interview is basically composed of the following things, an intro, a discussion section, and a closing. If I take my example, my recent example, where I was interviewing at Google, the interviews, the five interviews that were there, they were all composed of 45 minutes and they were breaking down as follow. Five minutes of intro, 35 minutes of discussions and five minutes of closing. Intro, it's pretty simple. You're introducing yourself, the interviewer is introducing themselves, and then you're moving into the discussion. The discussion section is composed of the following things. Requirements, gathering, problem solving, the design section of the interview, the implementation, actually coding, and testing. And all of them are really important. Just writing the code and solving the problem won't help you. It won't get you the job. The reason is that it's really important to be able to gather the requirements. That's a really important skill. It's not the simplest thing 
it's actually really important and really critical to have the requirements. If you're not getting the requirements correctly, you are not solving the correct problem. So that's a really important. So the very first five minutes, when you start your, the discuss your discussion section, you should spend about five minutes to get all the information possible about the problem that the interviewer, interviewer wants you to solve. Ask what's the input, what's the output, what's the expected, is it stored in the database or is it it's in memory or something like that. Get all the information that you need to be able to apply the algorithm you need to solve that problem or it, you have to know everything possible that you can gather from the interviewer to solve that problem at the best of your abilities. And the interviewers basically usually are not giving you all the details on purpose because they want to evaluate you on this skill. They want to test you if you are good at getting the requirements. Once you got all the requirements, you move on into the next phase of the discussion section of the interview. You are getting to the design section of the interview. You start to think aloud. You are talking with the interviewer of what is your proposed solution for the problem, how you are going to solve that problem. And this is the section where you're, about, you're spending about 10 minutes to make sure that the requirements you got is correct and the, the problem your understanding is correct. Once you have that, you are moving on to the next thing. And the next thing in the process is to actually implement the code. So you're writing the code. You have about 15 minutes there to write the code to solve the problem. And once you have done everything there, once you've finished writing the code, don't stop there. It's important for you to spend the next five minutes and test your code. Make sure that it solves the problem that initially was stated to you at the beginning of this section. Make sure that it's still answering all the requirements that you gathered and it's still the best optimal solution and it passes all the validation. That's really important. If you do these four things, I promise you that your chances of getting a software engineering job will be really high because that's basically what is a coding interview. That's what an interview is trying to do. They are trying to see if you have the what and the how. So the what in the section is you actually applying your knowledge, your hard skills and solving the problem. The how is how can you get the requirements? Are you getting the requirements? How are you designing? How you're thinking about solving the problems? That's your soft skills and testing. It's also one part of soft skills and hard skills where you are validating if everything is working correctly. Once you are done with this part, the interview is moving on to the next section is a really simple one is the closing part of an interview. And that's the part where you are asking questions of your interviewers. And it's really important to have questions for your interviewers as well. And you should prepare them in advance. One example of a question would be you asking your interviewer, what is his or her day look like? How much of her day is spent on coding? How much of her day is spent on requirements gathering? And so much more that is part of a software life cycle or any other questions of your interest. So that is basically the structure of a coding interview. Pretty simple. It's an intro, a discussion and an outro, a closing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe the majority of people are actually not spending enough time on the following parts. I believe the majority of you will answer doing the problem solving on lead code or geeks for geeks or I don't know, algo expert or any other resources that are there that will help you solve the problems, the technical problems that you might get at the interview. But the major part that is overlooked in this process, in this preparation for the interview is the part where you actually gathering the requirements. So if we are talking about lead code, you already have all the information needed right there in front of you. So you don't have to spend time to ask all the questions. What's the input? What's the output? 
you don't you're not spending that so you're not practicing that part and it's a really important part of an interview so yes it's really good to practice and solve problems but doing only that to pass a coding interview is not enough you should do the following you should practice getting the requirements you should practice writing on the whiteboard things like how will you solve this here are my steps is this the best solution like look over it think about analyze is this the best pro the best solution and then you're thinking ab about what kind of data structures you are going to use is there an algorithm for that do you have to develop what will be your steps then you're actually applying that and test everything so that's how you should practice this is how you should prep for interview to pass it and if you do this i guarantee you you, you really soon ha will have an offer in your <laughs> direction so let's get to the part where i promise that i'll be sharing some recommendations of how to prep for a coding interview and if you're already doing that if you're doing these four things i applaud you it's really really good and i'm glad to hear that i see a lot and i talk a lot with different people and i see that the majority of their time and effort is spent on actually solving the problem which is important but is not the most important part of a coding interview so getting to the point what are the recommendations i'll recommend you to practice on all four of them see if you can talk with one of your colleagues and see if you can do a mock-up interview with them practice getting the requirements if you don't have a colleague or you don't want anybody else to know that you're in the process of getting an interview or you're looking for a job you could probably practice at home in front of a mirror or uh, making a video i don't know it's up to you you can practice that uh, on your way or you can join different meetups and i'm sure there are a lot of meetups that are already doing this for instance the majority of this information that i shared with you today is something that i learned at the conference it was a seattle code camp conference and this information was shared by one of really really uh, smart and intelligent person <laughs> who actually is a software developer and he interviewed more than 500 candidates at different well-known companies such as amazon microsoft facebook i believe he's currently working at facebook and he has his own company so i'll be linking his descriptions below and actually he also has a meetup group so that's where i was going with this that there are a lot of groups around your area for sure where you can join and practice all of the above so like for instance in seattle there is this cde skills meetup groups there is seattle code camps so i would encourage you to go to meetup.com and see which meetups group are in your area and if there are non-physical ones that you have to go there you can research and see which ones are available online and you can see if you can practice that and also i would like to recommend a few books and they are pretty well known it's nothing out of ordinary i'm not discovering or <laughs> um, a rocket science or anything like that so the really famous one is cracking the coding interview it's a really good one but again only doing this it's not enough you have to do all of all the parts of a code interview so cracking the coding interview number one next one is elements of programming interview uh, which is also really good and it has multiple editions as the one before uh, this one is kind of oldish but it's also um good programming interviews exposed and in the book that i actually used to prep for my google interview it was grokking algorithms it's really really good so these are my recommendations for you so if there's one key takeaway from this video is that Prepping for a coding interview, it's, it's more than just solving those problem solving on lead code or gigs for gigs, Quora or any other ways that you're prepping today. You should practice requirements gathering. You should practice 
solving the problem, thinking out loud, communicating it, then getting to writing the code and then testing it. If you do all of the above, you are in the right path to get your dream job. Well, hopefully this was a video that you found informational and valuable. If you think so, click the like below. And if you would like to consider to subscribe, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'm looking to talk to you next time.